Okay, so right here we have. Oh shoot, sorry. We have a uh, bluefin splat zones, bluefin depot. So, I mean, obviously you have the two two separate paths you can take to one side, and then like you can go that way, or you can go right. The zone starts off in the center here. Like with this, well, with this block right here, like you see, which is great cover. And obviously you got these two ramps. Let me get to the other one. Yeah, these two ramps right here. Like if you need to like, if you want to like a surprise attack, do a surprise attack or something. So here, let's paint the zone real quick. And then you're going to see what it does. Yeah. Okay, so when the zone's painted, it'll move. And then this thing right here will come up on the opposite side of the map. The These blocks right here will come up. Yeah. So how Bluefin Depot zones work is that the, the zone will be on the left side of whoever caps it. So like if it's on your side, no, no. If it's on, if your team caps it, then it's gonna go left of your spawn. If the enemy team, if the enemy team caps it, it's gonna be on the right side of your spawn. So like it'll, so you gotta know this pattern when you play bluefin zones. Like it's simple to learn. It's a simple thing to learn, like, you just memorize it, really. Okay. There, there's a lot of interaction going on right here when it zones cap. Like, obviously, like, there's going to be the enemy team here. There could be a backliner just sitting around this block or coming up here. Like, this is a good charger position. However, I mean, there is more. In fact, we have to go to the enemy spawn. So let's say you're on the enemy team. And it's like you want to go, you go this way. Obviously, like, you can go this way to, like, obviously get special, like, and throw bombs. Then, yeah. You can do that. But... If you go this way, well, you have a drop here. Be careful if you drop there because, like, I have times where I fell in the water by not having enough momentum. So, like, make sure you actually swim before you jump here. So, that... Or if you if you do that, then you'll, do you'll make it. But, like, it's better to swim. But, like, you can drop here. You can drop any... You can drop here. You can go here. And you notice, well... There could be someone here, so be careful. Obviously. It's like, if this area is clear, this is an opportunity for a big flank. You have two flank options. You have here. Well, actually, you have, technically you have three. But you have this ramp, which will lead to here. And if there's a charger, well, you can just simply shoot him like that. As long as he's not watching you. Well, you also have four. Like, you can go up here, but it's way slower. Just got to make sure no one's spawning in. Like, if someone spawns in, it's not a good time to go for it. Then you have... You're now behind everybody here. You're now behind the whole enemy team. Like, this is an actual flank. Or you can go here and have some cover. You have a lot of cover here, so this is probably safest. It's like, you can just drop in, get a kill, special, and then continue whatever you do with the team. It's like, if you want a shark for any flanks, well, you can go over here, obviously. Like, and if you see someone coming, you can just 
lasered them like that. And obviously, if they cap zone and you need to retreat, you have this ramp right here where you can go here. Or you have this. But the ramp is definitely safer. This is probably the most dangerous thing, but retreating here is probably not always the best idea because the charger can just snipe you. If they can aim really well. So yeah, this ramp is a good retreating spot. Like if they have zone. Well, the, when the zone's neutralized, it will go back here. It will go back to the center if it's neutralized. Like it will move back here. To the middle. And then it can switch sides. Now if you need, again, you need to retreat, use the ramp. Or you can use that. This elevator here. Or that wall. The, the wall is the most dangerous. I mean, you can do that for extra spicy movement. So, yeah, that's Bluefin Zones right here. Pretty, I'd say it's one of the best zones maps in the game right now. There's a lot of options for both teams, especially defenders. Like, you just... The flank is especially really good. In Splatoon 1 Bluefin, uh, the zone was only on one side of the map and it stayed there. In Splatoon 3, well, the zone moves, depending who controls it. Which I think was a great change. It makes the game it makes the zones gameplay even more unique, in my opinion. I think, well, however, I do think this is, uh, Bluefin's only good mode. Because the other three modes, uh, they're not too great here. I mean, Raymaker's alright. Clam Blitz, I mean, it's kind of hard without special advantage. And Tower is just terrible. But that, yeah, off topic. But, yeah, I like the zones maps. I like the zone map. I feel it's going to be playing in competitive a lot. And, yeah, it's just really good. Anyways, uh, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I will see you guys later. Alright, bye.